Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Guys, this is a long-term review of the Pecron 330-watt panels. As you can see, I've got two now, and I'm going to tell you, I have never enjoyed putting up and taking down panels like I have with these. You know, I've been putting these up and taking these down daily while the sun is out for a long time now, for the last month and a half, at least, uh, to reduce my electricity costs. And they're charging my Delta Pros in the basement. I've got 14.4 kilowatt hours. And uh, these things do a phenomenal job. While I'm using one set, they recharge the other. But the quality and the power they produce, and again, more importantly, how easy they are to take them down, put them up, every single day and re-angle them. So let's go ahead and check this video out. I hope you find it helpful. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored we receive this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Okay, before we get started, here are the specifications for the Pecron 330 watt panel. Uh, MSRP is $599. That's really not bad for this panel, a 330-watt panel, especially a folding portable panel. Open circuit voltage, 39.6 volts. Short circuit current, 12 amp. Stated efficiency is around 23%. The weight, 28.7 pounds or 13 kilogram. All right, so... One of the things I want to show you, and I showed part of this in the initial video that I did for this panel, but think about it. I mean, you just grab this and take it wherever you want, right? So love that, love that. Setting the panel up is like so easy because, you know, most of these panels, when you go to set up the panel, right? And I'm just going to do this on camera the best I can. But if I go to set this up here, right? So I take it, I spread it open, right? All right, doing this with the camera. I just pop these legs out. And you see when you pop them out, they stay open. One, two, three, four. I lay the panel down. And I mean, other than some adjustment, I love that these legs pop out and stay open so they don't fumble. I've had that before, you know? So I really like that. And the other thing that's real helpful, if I can get, let me turn this around for a minute. You could see it with a little better light. All right, but I wanna show you something in the legs. So, and I think I showed some of this in my initial video, but when you open these up, right, you've got this other stabilizer. And what I usually do is, I, I, when I put this down, and give me a minute because <laughs> it's so fun um, but when I put this down it actually really having this piece actually extra stabilizes you know that leg even more so it really works I, I wasn't sure why this piece was here but I actually push it down and it actually stays underneath that clip to add more stability um, you know I've left these out overnight um, by mistake <laughs> and uh, you know just love this little system here you know so oh you see how I get it to stay that way and um, they really add nice stability you know and they're really they, they just really work well you know later on I'll probably share maybe something I'd like the panel to have but ultimately, I am pretty impressed, and I've been using them probably around two months at this point. Another thing I really like is this cable, 
that they included with the Pecron 330 watt is over 15 feet long. Okay, before I connect my solar cable to it, check that out. It's over 15 feet long. That's pretty cool. You don't normally get that. A lot of these solar cables connected to solar panels are like three feet or whatever it is, uh, maybe six feet. But to have 15 feet with the cable they give you, that's pretty cool. So besides that super long cable, right, these handles are phenomenal. I mean, I really like them. And again, when you fold it up, and I'm going to show you now how easy it is to fold this thing up, the, it just makes it so easy to carry around, right? So all I'm going to do is just get in the back of the panel. I push it up. All I do is grab and fold all of these legs. All right. Now, there's Velcro in the middle. So you'll see here, you got Velcro and Velcro here. So all you do is pull these in, and then that Velcro grabs on, which is nice. Okay, and you're done, right? You fold this thing up, grab it with the handle, and you're done. So, so easy. So we've got this panel here. And we've got this panel here. So all we're going to do is we're going to connect one panel to another. That's how you start. So you just connect one to the other. It then leaves you with one male and one female. All you do now is take the one male to the one female and connect it. And you have just connected these panels in series. Okay. So as you can see, the panels are connected to each other and then we've got our extra wires going into our solar cables that are connected to the Delta Pro. Outside getting 631 watts of solar and we've done even better than that. I'll put up a screenshot in a moment and show you, all right? But man, I mean these solar panels are impressive. They aren't heavy, they're easy to put where you need to put them, and they just do well. I mean, I am so impressed with these panels, and I am so glad I got them to send me another one, guys. I had to share this with you. So obviously you know that I really like this panel. Performance, convenience, right? But if there was one thing I would add to this panel, it would be mounting holes on all four corners. So one here, one there, and then two more at the other end, right? And that just gives folks more options, right? So besides using the folding kickstands, you know, you'd be able to hang this somewhere. So that would really be the only thing that I would add to this panel. So guys, you saw that. I mean, these two panels in series generated 667 watts. They're easy to put up, they're easy to take down, they perform well, they're made of good quality, right? They're easy to carry. And another thing that I thought about too, there are certain panels that I've used that have certain kickstands that smother your lawn. And I've had issues where my lawn was dying because, you know, when you leave solar panels out for 10 hours a day, and they're sitting on top of your lawn, especially the kickstand part, you know, and I won't say the brand or the name, and believe me, I've got problems with my lawn. I mean, last year, to be honest with you, we had so much sun that you couldn't keep up as far as rain is concerned. So, you know, obviously these allow your lawn to breathe, you know? So I had to do another review, I really had to, because these are phenomenal, and I highly recommend them, and yes, this is a sponsored video. I will not lie to you. I can't. You guys are more important than a video. All right? But I always disclose when, when I have a sponsored video. But hey, if you thought this video helped you in any way, please, I hope we, we you know, deserve a thumbs up because it really helps the channel, right? We're still a small channel. I'm going to be sh showing you my thumb for years. <laughs> also, if you are new to this channel, 
I really hope that you join our family and, you know, subscribe because I love, you know, messaging and chatting with you guys and trying to answer all of the questions. So I hope you join the channel. Now, if you share our video, you help our channel as well. So share our video. And if you do, post a comment down below so I can give you some love, <laughs> okay? And uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook right up there. And check out our new Tesla channel. We're learning Tesla right now. We're learning as we use the Tesla vehicle. And we are posting some reviews for now. But our goal is down the road to explain some of the differences in going from a gas vehicle to a battery vehicle. Okay? But I'm going to thank you so much for, you know, watching our video, giving us thumbs up and commenting because that really helps. Guys, have a wonderful day and thank you so, so much.